What's up guys, AJ here with EcoFlow and today we're gonna do a comparison between the Delta Max and the all new Delta 2 Max. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right in. Starting off with the outside, I'll give a tour of each unit. As you can see, they look very similar, but there are some very uh, big changes that we made on the new generation. Um, on both units, we have our power button here and here. Um, so we can turn that on. And then moving up, you can see that we have uh, two USB-C 100 watt ports. Um, that's great for charging laptops, bigger devices. On both units, we have two USB 12 watt connections, as well as two USB A 18 watt connections for fast charging. So moving up from the ports, you can see our first big change on our new generation. Um, so on the Delta Max, the original, we have what's called the IoT reset button. So if you press and hold that, that is a way to pair to your smartphone. So you can press and hold it to put it into pairing mode and then you go through the app and you have to manually pair it to your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth settings. But on the new generation, we just have a Bluetooth pairing light here that will blink. The Bluetooth is always on, so you just open your app and it's ready to go. It pops right up and the setup is uh, much more streamlined and very easy. And continuing our tour up, we have our screen displaying all of our important information, such as your battery percentage. We also have your input and output of watts. And we also have your amount of time left for charge. So turning both devices around, we'll continue with our tour of the exterior ports. So on the bottom here, we have your 10 amp, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter or DC port as they also call it. And the 12 volt DC ports are great for like portable coolers or like tire or inflation pumps. I actually have a kayak that we take out on the lake and I actually brought our Delta Max and plugged in our air pump right here and uh, was able to pump it up out by the lake and uh, get out on the water. So right next to that, we have two DC 5521 ports, the same on both devices, and those each support 38 watts per port. And the male to male cables are widely used for devices like your printer, Wi-Fi router, external monitor, uh, your security camera, uh, and many other devices. Um, so it's great to have those on both of these. So moving up, we have six 20 amp outlets, and uh, each device, they both support up to 2,400 watts of AC current. As far as surge goes, Delta II Max supports up to 4,800 watts of surge, which is like a, a spike or peak when you're getting something started. And Delta Max supports 5,000 watts of surge. So that's a lot of power coming from both of these units. So this means you can power pretty much everything in your home, including your washer, refrigerator, microwave, TV, and you can even use it for doing DIY projects out in the garage, like using a circular saw and a drill. And speaking of power, both units feature 3,400 watts of X-Boost. What X-Boost does is it allows you to run your appliances that are higher rated than the 2,400 watts of your unit. So that means during a blackout or power outage situation, you can still run your fridge, dryer, and all of your essential appliances that you need. Opening the top door on both devices, we see some changes here as well too. On the right side, as you can see on the Delta One Max, uh, we have one solar input charger. And on the new Delta II Max, we've added a second solar uh, connector. And the AC power charging supply is the same here. And we also have our overload protection system, which is very similar to like a breaker in your house. If Delta Max's system overloads, it will automatically protect itself from doing any harm internally. Also, you can see that we moved it a bit uh, from the first gen to the second gen, but uh, the function is still the same. We have our fast charging and our slow charging, which you can input either 1800 watts or uh, slow charging is 400 watts, depending on what your usage is. And you can configure it all and see it all in the app as well. Tap the plus in the top right corner and uh, boom, it's, it's right there, Delta II Max, uh, ready to go. So all we have to do is tap that and it's pairing and you just set up your Wi-Fi, and now it will do a quick setup. All right, and we have successfully connected uh, so we click done and here we are. So as you can see, we have 95% charge and also we can remotely activate any of the AC or DC or USB uh, outlets or ports. So we can uh, turn those off for now. Um, you also see your watts and input and output up top. So, so just as an example, I'll plug in my USB C there uh, into my phone and I'll turn on the USB. And now you can see our output uh, is outputting about 13 watts, 14 watts. And if you want to control some more, we can go into settings. You can uh, choose your name, uh, the sharing, you can decide if you want to have the beep or not. And now here's what I was talking about with the button on the back. Your AC charging speed is on fast now. So if we flip it to slow, it will show up at 400 right there. You can change your timeout time, uh, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, never. Uh, your screen timeout, right now we have it set to never. 
Uh, to save some more power, usually you put that on a little bit lower. Another feature that is specific to the Delta II Max is that when you're solar and AC dual charging, you can configure and prioritize where the power is coming from, either solar or AC current, and you can select the percentage and you're able to customize exactly how you want your unit charged. Additionally, if you scroll down to lab features, you can now set up automated charging times. So Delta II Max will start and end charging any time that you select. Uh, whether it's solar, AC, AC dish charging, 12 volt, you can select any time you want. So this will avoid charging at peak rates, which will then save you money on your electricity bills. Going back here, we also added uh, AC always on mode. So we can, if we tap that and in AC always on mode, this allows you to not have to push the physical button on here. It will just automatically start up the ACs on as soon as you push the on button. Another new feature that we added is the low power notification. Uh, so you'll get notified on your app. So then you never have to worry about running out of battery uh, when you need your unit the most. So now that we went through all of the ports on the outside and the external features and the app, why don't we uh, talk about some specs, shall we? So continuing with some charging speed facts, um, we have even faster extreme charging um, on the Delta II Max, which goes zero to 100 in only 1.5 hours compared to zero to 100 in 1.8 hours. So we increased the charging speed on the new one. And if you're looking at charging using solar energy, uh, the Delta Max can input up to 800 watts and that's with the uh, connection here. And the reason we added two on this side, I didn't go into too much detail earlier because I wanted to explain to you here, is uh, each port supports 500 watts of solar input. So up to 1000 watts. And with that 1000 watts of solar input, it will charge zero to 100 in 2.3 hours using solar only. So let's say you wanna use AC power and solar power combined. Well, now we included dual charging, solar and AC charging with the Delta II Max. This gives you an even faster charge utilizing both solar and AC to charge zero to 100 in only one hour, which is insane. And as far as capacity goes, each unit is very similar at over 2000 watt hours each. So you can expand the capacity using the side ports here and here. So you can plug up to two extra batteries and you're able to expand to over 6,000 watt hours on each unit. The exact number is 6144 watts on the Delta II Max and 6048 watts on the Delta I Max. So this is great for home backup, power intensive tasks. And uh, we have an extra battery right here to check out. Um, and can pop this open and there's some cord storage in here as well that will go into the same side port uh, that is on the side over there. And we can pop this open right here. And now you have double capacity. If you have one more, you have triple capacity, which is pretty sweet. So the weight is roughly about the same. It's about 48 pounds for the Delta Max, and it's about two more pounds for the Delta II Max. So this makes it a perfect mix between a powerful home backup, as well as being lightweight enough to take camping uh, and to take in your RV like I do. So as you guys can see, both units are very capable, but the big shift of the new generation is on the inside. So previously, the original Delta Max used an NCM battery, which you can see here. This is the battery pack from inside. And this NCM battery will last over 800 life cycles. But now we use a revolutionary LFP battery, which you can see here. And it lasts four times longer than NCM technology, which means it can last over 3000 life cycles. And 3000 life cycles gets it only down to 80%. So you can continue using it after that and at 6,500 life cycles, it will go down to 50% capacity. So you can use it for over 10 years. So this means that Delta II Max is not only safer, it is also more efficient and can last over 10 years with everyday use down to 80%. And that's just mind blowing and it's the best in its class and, and LFP technology is also more environmentally friendly, which is one of our core values here at EcoFlow. So as you guys can see, the Delta Max and the Delta II Max are both amazing innovations and are just the start for us here at EcoFlow. So let us know which one is right for you. For some amazing discounts and for some more information, please head to ecoflow.com as well as uh, join our Facebook group. Our official Delta Facebook group has over 60,000 members, which is just awesome. And if you have any more questions, you can drop a comment in there and join our community. And thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time. Hey.